that? I see you have a brand new high-tech electronic door lock there. Yeah, I'm excited to try it out. Well, let's get the old one out and the new one in. All right, so first we're gonna remove the existing single cylinder deadbolt by removing the two screws on the interior assembly. And you can use a flathead or a Phillips, whatever type of screws are in there. And once you get those out, the escutcheon will come off with it. And then we're gonna move to pull off the exterior assembly. So the first thing we're gonna do to install our new deadbolt is insert the latch through the side of the door, has the plate connected, and insert the screws with a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so the next step is to insert the exterior assembly through the latch, and that center piece is called a torque blade. You're gonna put the wires underneath the latch, and then you're gonna test the deadbolt by rotating the torque blade back and forth. Next, we're gonna mount the mounting plate. The mounting plate will hold the interior assembly. We're gonna feed the wires through the center of the mounting plate, put them off to the side, and then fit the torque blade through the center, and then attach with the screws with your Phillips screwdriver. All right, next we're gonna connect the wires. Now, different electronic deadbolts have different wire connections, so you definitely wanna check your manufacturer's instructions. But for this one, we have a connector and then one that you insert into the back of the interior assembly. Then you're gonna mount the interior assembly into the mounting bracket and snap it in and test it. And then we're going to insert the screws to secure it completely. Insert the batteries into the battery pack. And then we're going to insert the battery pack while holding the program button. You're gonna hear a long beep, and then we're gonna press the program button again, and the unit will calibrate itself. Finally, we're just gonna slide the cover onto the interior assembly, and then you're done. That was pretty simple. Just like that. Now we're gonna go outside, we'll check the key for a backup just in case the batteries die or something happens. So give it a check. And just like that, works perfectly. Next, you're gonna check with your manufacturer guidelines to see how to sync your smartphone to the lock, and then your smartphone becomes your key. That's awesome, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome, and thank you for shopping at Home Depot.